This is the Anbernic RG35XX. It's a handheld gaming device boasting a whopping 5,474 pre-installed games for only $80. Is it legitimate and is it worth it? I bought one to find out. All right, my first impression when I got it out of the box was the build quality was a lot better than I was expecting. It comes in three different colors. I got the transparent purple. There's also a transparent white and a gray that looks kind of like a, an old Game Boy. But overall, the build quality was actually pretty good. It's about the same quality as something that Nintendo would have made around the, the era of the Game Boy. So it's really good build quality. The buttons feel good and it's a good size in your hand. Here it is next to a Game Boy Advance SP. As you can see, this screen is significantly larger and overall the buttons and everything just feel good feels good in your hand it's about as good as you are going to expect something this small to feel it's not going to feel like a controller or anything but i can see myself playing it for a while without getting any kind of hand cramps or anything it comes shipped with a 64 gigabyte micro sd card that has all of the games already pre-installed so you just boot it up and it is ready to go it actually has a second micro SD port for you to be able to install your own games onto it, which is awesome. Uh, I will get into the game selection that it has later, but if you have the files to play other games, you can load it right onto here and play it. And it should be super simple. I, I don't really know how to do that, so I haven't done that, but I might look into doing that because that would be pretty cool. And there are some games missing. I was a little disappointed not to see them on this. So that is actually a really cool feature that you can do that. It has a 2100 milliamp hour battery, which will last you about six hours of gameplay time, which is not too bad. Uh, and then it charges via USB-C on the bottom. There is also on the top an HDMI port, which allows you to play it on a bigger screen, which I feel like they didn't need to do that, but they did. And um, it's a cool little feature. So if you wanted to play a multiplayer game with somebody, they don't have to be looking over your shoulder. Uh, you can just project it right into a bigger TV. Before we continue, if you want to continue seeing videos like this, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. It honestly helps so much. For the game selection, like I said, there are 5,474 pre-installed games, ranging from PS1 to NES, Super Nintendo, you've got Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, tons of games, arcade games. Every single one that I've tried just works right out of the box. You just boot up the game and you're instantly playing. It has virtual save points so that you can save whenever you want. And then also at least the games that I've tried the saving in the game actually works as well, which is something I wasn't expecting. So that is a huge plus for me. One downside I would say is I was expecting there to be at least some of the classic Mario games that I played. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any of those like Super Mario Bros, Super Mario World, Mario Kart, things like that are not on here. Unfortunately, I don't know why, because there are other Nintendo games for whatever reason, it doesn't have any of the Mario games, which was a little disappointing. But like I said, you can install your own games. So if you have the files for any of those games, you just throw them onto your micro SD card and pop them in and it should work. I have noticed some of the games are dupes. So there will be the version from the Super Nintendo and then also the version from a, an arcade machine so technically it does have fewer than 5,474 games, but there is a huge variety of games. I found myself just picking a random game and playing it, even though I'd never heard of it. It came out way before my time and I had a blast doing it. That could be a fun thing actually. Just have a random number generator, pick a number for you and then you play that game and see if it's fun and that could be a good time and you discover new games that way. Overall, I think this is a great product. I was very pleasantly surprised 
with how easy it was, um, how it worked straight out of the box, just like advertised, is a good size. It's small enough to fit straight into your pocket, so you can take it anywhere. Like I said, six hour battery life um, with an even longer battery life on standby. So if it's off and in your pocket, it will last you a long time. I think it's a great gift for anybody who enjoys playing handheld games, retro games. Um, and for the price, it's actually very reasonable. In 2003, the Game Boy Advanced SP came out at $99. So that's already more expensive. In today's dollars, that would be $160 today. And you get zero games with that. For 80 bucks, today's dollars, you get over 5,000 games. And they all just work straight out of the box. And you don't have to carry around a bunch of cartridges. You can play PS1 games. I think it's an incredible value. Yeah, that is all. That is the Anbernic RG35XX. There will be a link in the description to go and order one of these on Amazon. Yeah, that is it for this one. And I'll see you in the next one.